Hello, good evening, and welcome back. Hundreds of Tommy Robinson supporters clash with fascist, anti-fascist, protesters in the centre of London as police are forced to keep them apart amid fears of violence. Santa should be R.E., should it not? But I suppose that's an Americanism. Now, this is from the Mail Online, the Daily Mail, a few hours ago. Um, for the Saturday. And you might be wondering, oh, what, why are the um, pro-Tommy demonstrations done on weekends? It's like, well, because <laughs> the people who support them actually have jobs. Whereas, of course, anything that could be um, the rebellion extinction, for example, or any of the... <laughs> anything that anti-fascist, the, the Antifa organisation wants to produce, could be on a weekday, because <laughs> they don't have jobs anyway. So, anti-fascist and... If, if anybody's got an idea for a new name for them to display their actual fascist tendencies, then do let me know. The protest disrupted a free Tommy march in central London on Saturday, early today. Hundreds of anti-fascist demonstrators, I'll just call them fascists. Hundreds of fascist demonstrators took to streets for counter-demonstration. Supporters marched down Regent Street to demand ex-EDL leader's freedom. Why did they call him that? That doesn't help to show who he is. It shows something that he's done. So this guy from Luton then? Does it, I mean, that would be more accurate considering that he distanced himself from the EDL. He was trying to say, well, here's the English Defence League, and one of the reasons that he didn't stick with the BNP is because his black friends couldn't join, and he also said, like, when he was with the EDL, who are the Nazis along here? Cool. You're out. If you want to talk about punching Nazis, he's done enough of that himself. I would say too much, but nonetheless, there we are. Um, so EDL, yeah, he's distanced himself from it, since it became too big for him to handle. So that's, again, just misleading. Robinson was handed a nine-month sentence at the Old Bailey last month. He will serve just nine and a half weeks for contempt of court. Yes, why is that? It's because he's already served some of his sentence. Yep. And then the law is that you serve half before um, probationary release. That's the law. Nothing special. The only thing special is that the law that he was convicted for was created retroactively in order to prosecute him on something that nobody else had been prosecuted for before. But we'll get into that, I'm sure. Left-wing protesters have disrupted a free Tommy march in central London. Yes, because they don't like freedom. Hundreds of fascist demonstrators took to the streets of London to stage a counter-demonstration against the planned march by Tommy Robinson supporters. The protesters faced off with supporters of the jailed former... No, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm not going to read it, because that's misleading. Um, with supporters of Tommy Robinson at Oxford Circus on Saturday. Authorities were forced to intervene to keep the two groups separate as protesters waved flags and held canisters emitting brightly coloured smoke. Yes, and we see that everywhere, don't we? We see Antifa, the fascists, in America attacking the Proud Boys. And there are three guys from the Proud Boys facing three felonies for defending themselves from Antifa's attacks. And that's why I pronounce it Antifa, not Antifa. And I'm not giving them the benefit of the doubt at all. They are a terrorist organisation. They try to instil fear in people due to political leanings, and they commit violence against people due to political leanings. Hundreds of fascist protesters have taken to the streets of London to stage a counter-demonstration against Tommy Robinson supporters, and authorities were forced to intervene to keep the two groups separate as protesters waved flags and held canisters emitting brightly coloured smoke. As we can see here, a load of police actually trying to help out. Isn't that nice? Maybe the table is finally turning. Protests demanded the freedom of Tommy Robinson. Uh, yes, in Oxford Circus, we have read through that. They waved banners reading Tommy Robinson, political prisoner, and no to Sharia law as they gathered in the afternoon sunshine. Yep. Yep. Well, well he is, considering. What did he do? He, he, what, he filmed the trial. Well, he didn't, did he, actually? It was afterwards when they were just going to receive their verdict. So, apparently, he was going to... Um, it was going to be contempt of court because he would be persuading the jury... So, well, he wasn't because the decision had already been made and they were just going there to receive their verdict. In which case, it's just making them nervous, which is just him trying to ask people how they feel about something, given that they've... Well, <laughs> given that they're a journalist. That's, uh, that's what they do. And no to Sharia law. Yes, well, are you supportive of Sharia law? Are the Antifa demonstrators supportive of Sharia law? <laughs> Fascist lefties off our streets. I love that. Because fascist, well, from the English, um, fascist, it means faggot, to be accurate. Faggot, because that's a bundle of sticks. Fascist is, uh, together we stand, divided we fall, essentially. An individual stick is weak, but a bunch of sticks is strong. 
So fascist is faggot. One supporter draped herself in an England flag as she flipped her middle finger at the wave of counter protesters shielded by riot police. Yep, bear in mind, it's against Antifa, not against the police. Even though the police and the, the law are responsible for Tommy Robinson being in his current predicament. But nonetheless, we try to keep things civil. If, if, you, if you don't call that civil, fair enough. Meanwhile, anti-fascist, sorry, meanwhile, fascist protesters were held back off the road by police. Thank you. Thank you, police. I understand that most people are actually trying, most police people are just trying to protect people and not trying to um, limit their freedom. 36-year-old from Luton, her film men accused of the sexual exploitation of young girls and live streamed the footage on Facebook in breach of a reporting ban outside Leeds Crown Court in May 2018. Yep, only made that way retroactively. Why are you lying? Um... Yeah, no, August 24th, yes, earlier today. Cool, and that's about it. So they're saying Robinson was handed a nine-month sentence at the Old Bailey last month, of which he would serve just nine and a half weeks after he was found to have committed contempt of court. Yes, so essentially fabricated charges, considering what he did wasn't illegal at the time, and it was just changed retroactively. And why is he serving nine and a half weeks of nine months? It's because he's already served it last year, and we already know what he went through there, with him being moved to a... Uh, higher dense Muslim prison just so that he would be abused by them and then he wouldn't be able to eat he'd have to be in solitary confinement he'd lose I can't remember what it was now was it two stone during the the month or two that he was there because he was living on just a, a tin of tuna a day yes that's <laughs> that's what happens so what do you expect but hey good job for the police I, I, I give them that well done for keeping the groups apart and allowing people to show what they're, they're trying to say um, thank you for making sure they didn't go violent. Thank you for actually doing your job. Well done. This all seems good. It's very difficult to find information on this because I think people don't want to report on it. Um, if they can't paint Tommy Robinson supporters in a bad light, then <laughs> why would the media bother? Same thing with the Proud Boys. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to see some sort of unity and unification of the Proud Boys and Tommy Robinson supporters and quite a few people who have just been smeared by the media because they're like, well... We've been told that you're evil, you're, you're worse than Hitler, you're a monster racist, whatever it might be. But we've also been told that about ourselves, so we don't know if you are anymore. And that's that's the thing, and it's it's sad, really, that having known firsthand that, that the media lies, and you can check this out, and then you go, yeah, why, why are they lying about this? That then, when anything else is published that is, is negative about someone, especially someone you don't know, it's like, why are you trying to make me hate this person? What have they actually done? I, I want to know more. And then you go into it, and chances are that they haven't done anything bad. And like, well, what are you what are you doing that for? And therefore, when you then find somebody else who's been speared, you go, oh, that's an interesting person. And they're they're probably not a racist. They're probably not a Nazi. They're probably not fascist. Uh, you know. So that, that's my take on it. So you're going to have this unholy alliance of everybody who's been smeared by the media, and they might not even agree with each other, but they don't know what anybody stands for because they're never told that in the reporting. Because journalists don't do journalism. They're not told... Well, they don't try and tell people, OK, here are the facts. Go for it. Let me know what you think. They just go, well, here's what I think, and I don't care about any evidence for the contrary, and I'm just going to lie about people. If I, if I can't twist anything, I'll just lie because, hey... At least then I, I get to protect my own feelings. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I hope you lose your job because you're awful at it. And I'm very pro-capitalist. And if you're awful at your job, you don't deserve to have it. Go do something else. You all enjoy it more anyway. But that's about it for me today. Let me know what you guys think below. Thank you so much for your continued support. Um, I will let you know about Manchester Pride tomorrow. What I've seen today is it's actually been very civil. Um, the only negatives particularly that I would point out is that the police, ambulance service and the fire service have all got engaged in this political intersectional act which is akin to communism and the Union Jack flags have been flown around but replacing the red, white and blue with rainbow colours. Some have included black as well to be that intersectional. Basically anything except the straight whites. Oh and, and then some was for breast cancer as well so anything except for straight white men. There we go as is to be expected. And again, that is supported by public services. But that's it for now, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.